Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, Marquise Kimball, Minister M.L. Kimball here coming to you live here. We're going to go through another uh, discussion with some scripture here this morning. Uh, I had to go through a, a metamorphosis with my computer and download the Sefer app again so I could clearly pull up the scripture because you guys know how I am about studying from the Sefer. And the reality of it is I don't even like to look at King James or any of the other translations because they do water it down. Um, the Sefer does give you uh, the books that that were removed, some of the books that were removed uh, by the Council of Nicaea. Uh, and then it also puts the, 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 the correct names closest to what they actually originally were, uh, which is another reason that I study from the Sefer only. Uh, but however, when you guys are following along with me, please pull your Bibles out because the reality is I want your eyes to see what my eyes are seeing. I don't want you to ever think that I'm feeding you something that you can't yourself look up and verify in the scripture because I'm not the guy that's going to tell you what you want to hear or what I think or my philosophy or trying to get your offering or your money. I'm the guy that is really trying to teach you what I have learned because I was bamboozled my entire life and the story of Christianity is a scam and the Savior Jesus Christ is a scam and I can show you evidence and proof of this because the reality is somebody has to show me in scripture where the most high changed his mind and said that this is the way it's going to be when he told us in malachi i do not change uh, uh you know the reality is i can't move from that i can't get away from that and we see all through the tanakh that he never changed but then all of a sudden here comes this thing called a baby that they gave us in the book of matthew and bamboozled us into worshiping another and so the reality is until the day i die i'm going to spend my time and effort that I have making sure that I do some undo some wrongs that I did. I preached Jesus. I sang Jesus. I praised Jesus. And the reality of it is I have to put the same amount of effort that it, I preached that scam into preaching this truth. And so we're going to look at some scripture today, but there's an article I want to look at first. I want you guys to see this article kind of, um, uh, didn't realize that this, uh, this existed, but we're going to read this real quick. So stay with me if you're along, if you're if you're if you're following along. This comes out of Vatican City. The more Catholics and Pentecostals understand each other and bear witness to Jesus, call for his disciples to be one, the more effective they can be in sharing the gospel, Pope Francis said. Uh, marking the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the Commission for Catholic Pentecostal. Dialogue July 12th, the Pope said that through dialogue and reflection, Commission members had built bonds of friendships, solid, uh, solidarity, mutual understanding between Catholics and Pentecostals. It is my hope that this important anniversary will strengthen these bonds and renew your zeal to proclaim and as missionary disciples the joy of the gospel in the ecclesial community and in society as a whole, the Pope said in his message. Bearing witness to the Lord's Prayer that all may be one, he said you will be able to help our brothers and sisters experience in their hearts and lives the transformation, transforming power of God's love, mercy, and grace. Um, so I wanted to share that because, of the, you know, that that kind of baffles me that we, 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 we see that the church is literally becoming one with the Catholic Church, which is a complete 1,000% a uh, complete opposite of the most high in his will. We have complete evidence that they're complete blasphemy against everything that the most high told us to do. And yet we have become accustomed to all of these, these Catholic Catholic schemified services and um, these, these Bishop titles and all of this stuff that comes from Rome. We need to understand that this is a lot of things that they gave us. That is a complete scam. And so the scripture I want to give you guys today in your Bible, it's going to say, I, the Lord. Now, once I want you to study out the word Lord, the word Lord actually means Baal. When you study out Baal, you'll find out that Baal was another deity. It was another God. It was not the most high. So when you're calling Lord, you're not calling on the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I don't care what you think. Study out the word Lord. That's the reason I have an issue with the King James 
Chinese version, because in your Bible, it's going to say, I, Lord, and besides me, there's no savior where the Lord is a title. That's not a name. So when you look at Isaiah 43 and 11, he says, I, even I am Yahuwah. And beside me, there is no savior. So I have an issue when you tell me that there's some guy sitting on the right hand side, because why in the world is it telling us in the scripture that there's nobody sitting besides the most high? But yet they gave you something else. And if he told you in Malachi, I do not change, then I cannot get with this new age stuff that has made you believe that there's another, made you believe that there's another savior. He said there is no savior besides him. So where did this extra stuff come from? Because your mommy and daddy told you it, it was legit. I got news for you. Their mommy and daddy told him it was legit. And guess what? They were all scammed. Your and some of your ancestors died and refused to be called Christian. To be called Christian, it was not a good thing. It was not a pleasant thing. It was actually a derogatory term that was used towards the people that were calling themselves Jews. So the reality of it is you can sit behind this Christ and cross all you want if you do not wake up and smell the coffee beans and understand that you are serving another and if you don't turn back to where your ancestors were worshipped, you will be bamboozled into eternal damnation because we can never get away from the place, the, 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 the idea that there is a place that the Most High created for those that will be lost. I'm the Minister M.L. Kimball. Till next time, be blessed on purpose.